Welcome back to your Afternoon Express Tuesday Masterclass, where we are focusing on all things pizza, baby. But we cannot do this so alone. We have got our musical guest joining us in the kitchen. I'm talking about none other than Tracy Carter. Now, Tracy, yeah. you've definitely proved yourself in our kitchen. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Dumi, would you not give her a 10 out of 10? I definitely will. And I hope she likes this next recipe because she mentioned how she likes them deep, thick pizza mm. bases. So I hope she likes this one. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely spinning and twisting things up in the kitchen. Yeah. If you're wondering what we're talking about, I mean, pizza is a much loved dish that has taken on so many shapes and forms around the world. While we're all familiar with the round, thin or thick crust, we have brought to you a new way to enjoy your next pizza, Afternoon Express style. Introducing our bread loaf pizza, layered with stringy melted cheese, tomato, bacon, and oh so creamy clover classic tangy mayonnaise. This is remarkable. We've got a Kota, mm. we've got a Bani Chow, mm. we've got a Gatsby. Yeah. But I've never heard of a pizza loaf bread. Mm. Uh. What? <laughs> Hashtag Tata Gonk. Yeah. This okay. is what it is. This is what this mission is about. Mm. So this loaf of bread has been revolutionized and changed. It's been given new life. Mm. You know, it's been given new meaning. It's been given, it's not just a normal government loaf of bread anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that thing that you look at and you're like, you are the carrier of my flavor. Yeah. You know? And how it starts is, like you see, <laughs> this bread is almost as tall as me, by the way. Yeah, I literally was about to say, <laughs> who's yeah. tall? I can't see through yeah. over that loaf. Yeah. So I'm taking, and, and no, I'm not making a bunny chow, guys. T Tracy, you mentioned this. Yeah, I think it's like a bunny chow pizza. A bunny chow pizza. That's actually a great <laughs> idea. But it's along those lines of a bunny chow yeah. pizza because what we're doing is we're taking our hair, hey, our vehicle, it bus, yeah, this bus of bus. bread, and what we're doing is we're taking the insides out and putting them aside and we're filling it up. Yeah, when are you talking about deep dish and thick? Mm. That's yeah. exactly what we're about. That is a, a gangster pizza. <laughs> no, listen, <laughs> it's so serious. It is so serious. Things like we, this pizza takes no prisoners. No, 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 no. <laughs> but that's what we promised you. You know, at the end of the day here at Afternoon Express, we're always about flipping and changing things around, keeping things interesting for you at home and also keeping things versatile and yeah. easy in the yeah. kitchen. Now, something that gives me mad anxiety is having to think of creating that pizza crust from scratch. Yeah, completely, completely. Yeah. I mean, even something that me, I mean, I enjoy being in the kitchen, but it's still, it's still a bit daunting for me, you know, exactly. and it can go wrong. And, and you know, then you, you want to make pizza and you're like, but I don't have an hour for this dough to prove and, and all of this. Where here, it's five minutes, you've got no excuse. On that note, okay. I need you to. Okay, I need to. Okay, <laughs> I was feeling done. So our pizza, we've chosen to go with a bit of a tikka masala type of flavor. Mm. Because what you've got over there is you've got some chicken, you've got some mushrooms, you've got some peppers and onions, all of that. You can actually mix all of those babies together. Before you continue, let me just pa pass me that on because this is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be the base. You can actually start okay, mixing. Cool. You can go ahead. This is going to be the sauce. You know when we talk about you bringing the yes. sauce? So what I've done is I've taken my bread, I've cut out, I've taken out the insides, made sure to put that aside. You can definitely dry this up, use it for breadcrumbs if you want to coat something in mm. it later. Mm. And then I've left some of the bread inside because Tracy did say she likes it a little thicker on the center. And to that, we're adding our Clover Classic Mayo, the number one flavor as the sauce because every pizza does need a sauce. Mm. And we're slathering it on, babes. Like, I'm not playing here. I'm making sure that I'm putting in as much as this loaf can take. Yeah. But we're also going to put some of it into that mixture that Tracy's got over there as well. Mm. So let me just make sure I put enough and then I'll pass this on to you, Tracy. Cool. And you can go on and start mixing all those ingredients together. Because what we want to do basically is we want the flavors of the ingredients to pop, but we also want the flavor in the mayo to pop. That's why we've made a nice a, a huge layer of it at the bottom here and flavoring it up. And I told you about that masala situation. We've got a nice masala sauce that we've got over here that's gonna go on the top and then the center of our pizza. And the reason we've gone, chosen to go with Clover Classic is because it's got that creaminess that it adds to any recipe, you know? And the other thing is that because it comes in different levels of tanginess, mm. if you like your mayo, if, a lot of people like chicken mayo um, pizza. Yeah. So this is where you take your, 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 your mayo at. If you want it to be tangier, use the number three, which is the stronger one. If you want it just a little bit on the medium side, use number two. Or if you want it mild like we're doing now, use the Clover Classic number, uh, one. number one level. Stunning. I mean, Tracy, you did mention earlier when we were discussing the pineapple in the pizza, yes. you did say sometimes <laughs> pizzas can get dried out. Yes. You know, especially if they're in that oven for a bit longer. Yes. This is one way to avoid 
any dryness. Exactly, yeah. Keep exactly. Keep the juices in. Exactly, and I'm, I mean, as a mom, I'm just looking at this and I'm thinking, this is such a cool way to do leftovers into yep. a meal, you know? So, you know, like this is like a Monday night supper, you've done your roast chicken on Sunday. On Sunday. This is the leftovers, throw it in a bread and there's supper. Boom, yeah. super pal. I love that, and I also love the fact that you just mentioned that because a lot of people are coming from the Easter celebrations. Yes. And I'm so sure that your fridge is filled with bits and bobs and this exactly. and that. Exactly. And you're kind of wondering, how do I put this together? Yeah. This is an there incredible we go. way. There you go. Well, well, and then I'm gonna, I made some a little earlier, so I'm gonna fill up the one uh, loaf here. And then may I ask you to pass me the rest of that? We're gonna fill up the other loaf. And then we're gonna, like we said, it always has to have that slathering or that mm. layer of the cheese. Mm. So that's gonna go on the very top. I just wanna make sure it's nice and full. And then I still f fill it up and you bake it in the oven because like we said, everything in here is cooked mm. as well. So you don't have to exactly. wait too long. Yes. Go into the oven for about, um, uh, a minute or two just until the cheese is nice and golden melted, yeah. then you're done. Awesome. Yeah, I literally just had a bite and mm. it is flavorful. And do me, it is still warm. So, so you know, warm. I'm just sold. <laughs> I'm absolutely sold. So celebrate your everyday occasions with Clover Classic and stand a chance to win your share of 500,000 Rand in prizes to enter by any Clover Classic product and WhatsApp the till slip of your purchase to 074909. Zero, 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 zero. T's and C's do apply and can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za. Zeri's, a classic mayonnaise that brings out the traditional French in three levels of tanginess. The mild classic, the medium classic, the strong classic. Tangy, the way you love it. Made with love, by Clover.